Former Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott delivered a keynote speech at the Yushan Forum on Friday. The former PM said the U.S. and Australia should not just stand idly by as China ramps up its intimidation of Taiwan. He also said there was no issue more pressing than solidarity with Taiwan. Meanwhile, the head of the French Senate's Taiwan Friendship Group, Alain Richard, sat with Taiwan's legislative speaker. During the meeting, he said, visiting Taiwan was a matter of course as both countries shared a lasting friendship. Nothing is more pressing right now than solidarity with Taiwan. If we want a better world, hence my enthusiastic presence here today to stand with this island that's brave and free. Former Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott delivered a keynote at the fifth annual Yushan Forum. The former PM said China was becoming increasingly belligerent against Taiwan, adding that the US and Australia could not just sit idle. He also voiced support for Taiwan's bid to join the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership. I don't believe America could stand by and watch China swallowed up. I don't believe Australia should be indifferent to the fate of a fellow democracy of almost 25 million people. Collaboration is still possible and trust could yet be rebuilt. But Taiwan will be the test. For the democratic world, that means a readiness to support this fellow democracy, including by welcoming Taiwan into the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Abbott said he did not want war in the Taiwan Strait and argued that the best way forward was to clearly show Beijing that Taiwan has friends. Also visiting Taiwan at present is Alain Richard, a French politician who heads the French Senate's Taiwan Friendship Group. <laughs> Richard on Friday met with Legislative Yuan Speaker Yoshi Kun. Speaking on Beijing's objections to his visit, he said the French-Taiwan relationship was characterized by long-term camaraderie and that visiting Taiwan was a matter of course. He also invited Taiwan's lawmakers to visit France when the pandemic is over. Visits between members of our parliaments are a matter of course. Our decision to come to Taiwan conforms to France's foreign policies. Despite strong pressure from China, they came to visit Taiwan and even referred to Taiwan as a nation. Senator Olivier Cadix said China has prohibited them from visiting China, Hong Kong or Macau, but hasn't prohibited them from visiting Taiwan, which proves that Taiwan is not a part of China. I especially showed my respects to Cadix. I gave him a thumbs up, like this. Visiting just ahead of Taiwan's National Day on Sunday, Australian and French politicians have demonstrated the rock-solid support for Taiwan and its democracy.